Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this delicious apple pie. This apple pie is so simple to make and I can't wait to show you guys how I made it. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to start off with is our pie crust. So in a medium sized bowl, you're going to mix two and a quarter cups of all purpose flour and a half a teaspoon of salt. Next we're going to add a half a cup of cold cube butter and a quarter cup of shortening. Next using a fork or a pastry cutter like I'm using here, start to cut the butter and shortening into the flour until it starts to resemble coarse crumbs. Next we're going to add about 4 to 6 tablespoons of white distilled vinegar. So you want to make sure that you're adding your white distilled vinegar a little bit at a time, mixing through and then eventually your dough is going to come together. So now that our dough is the perfect consistency, we're going to wrap this up in plastic wrap and we're going to set it in the fridge for 15 minutes. So now we're going to start on our apple filling. For this recipe, we're going to use about four to five Granny Smith apples. So I'm peeling my apples right now and then I'm going to core them and then slice them. So a very easy way to core your apples is to cut around the core so that way you have big chunks of apple and then it's going to be a lot easier for you to slice them. So now that the apples are nicely sliced, we're going to add one tablespoon of lemon juice so that way our apples won't turn brown. So now we're going to make our delicious thick sauce that we're going to mix in with our apples. So in a medium sized pot, you're going to mix one cup of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, three quarter teaspoons of cinnamon a quarter teaspoon of cloves, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Now we're going to add one and a half cups of water and we're going to cook this on medium heat until it comes to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we're going to add our slurry. So I mix two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch with a little bit of water so that way I don't get any lumps of cornstarch in my sauce. So now we're going to remove this from the heat and we're going to let it cool for about five to 10 minutes. So next we're going to add our delicious sauce to the sliced apples and we're going to give it a mix and then set it aside. So now we're going to start to roll our pie crust. So first cut your dough in half and on a flour surface you're going to roll your dough. You want to make sure when rolling the dough that it's a little bit bigger than your pie pan. Next, you're going to roll the dough onto the rolling pin and gently place it onto the pie pan. Next, you're going to press the dough against the pan gently and remove any excess dough around the edges.
So now we're going to roll the second half of our pie crust and it's going to be the same concept. You're going to roll your dough bigger than your pie pan. So now we're going to add our apple filling and we're going to top it off with the second half of our pie crust. So once you place the second half of your pie crust on top of your apple filling, you're going to tuck the excess dough around the pan. So now we're going to start to crimp our dough. So you can either use a fork for this or you can do it the way that I'm doing it. I'm just using my thumb on one hand and then on the other I'm using my pointer finger and my thumb. That's the best way I can explain it. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to actually cut some slits right in the center of our dough. And the reason for this is because we want to release some steam so that way our dough doesn't become soggy during the baking process. So next we're going to add our egg wash to our pie crust. So I just beat one egg and added a little bit of milk to it. And this is just going to help the pie crust get a really beautiful golden brown color. So finally, we are going to bake this at 365 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. All right guys, so I just took the apple pie out of the oven about 15 minutes ago. So it's still nice and warm and it looks delicious. I took a nice big slice out of it, actually two, because it was really good. Or I'm gonna take a big bite and talk about the flavors. And just tell you guys how it tastes. That makes me so happy. The only thing that this is missing is some ice cream or some whipped cream, but I don't have any. Mm. The filling, it's so delicious. It has tons of flavor. Didn't even use that many ingredients and it tastes really really good. It's perfect. It's a perfect apple pie, really. So I definitely do recommend that you guys use white distilled vinegar for your pie crust because this pie crust is extra extra flaky because of the white distilled vinegar. It definitely makes a difference so you guys need to try this, this pie crust out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.